Hey, this is Martin Sands from, from Glorious Days and um, do you know what time it is? It's time to remove a few links from the bamboo watch. So this is the watch as you know it and on the back side here we have the clasp and we also have the four links, two on each side that you can remove to make it fit your wrist because it comes quite big and most of us if you're not really big need to remove a few links to make it fit and on a side note you can also see these three dots on the clasp which are actually kind of fine adjustments for uh, the clasp so you can really make it fit your wrist nicely so this time I want to show how to remove two links and um, uh, the best way to do this is to use a set of screwdrivers comes like this you don't need any fancy stuff just something you know that you can get from any hardware store or DIY store and the screwdrivers I'm going to use for this demo and that works fine is um, the 1.4 millimeter and the 2.0 millimeter ones uh, basically the 2.0 is as big as you can go but um, use whatever you have. If you have two two of the 2.0 that's perfect, two of the 1.4 that is also good so it doesn't matter as long as both of them are smaller than 2.0. Uh, I'm also going to use a simple pin like this. I think most of us have seen a one like this before and uh, Obviously the screwdrivers are for the screws, uh, the pin is for the pegs that are kind of attaching the clasp here uh, to the links, so for these two attachment points. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with removing uh, the link that attached the peg by taking the pin and putting it into this hole here and then just push and out comes the peg and here and just pull it out like that I'm going to show you the peg in detail see nice and easy like that so the peg in itself let's see if I can get this to show um, it's actually thicker on one side, uh, this side, in this case. So it kind of drills into uh, the wood, the bamboo, and uh, and locks it. So it sits there nice and snug. Uh, so we put that one there. So now this one is loose. All I need to do for this side then is to remove uh, this link, and then attach the remaining link to uh, back to the uh, connecting link to the clasp and then I'm going to uh, just to show you how it's done do the same thing for the other side alright so we have the two screwdrivers I'm going to use and now one wouldn't really work because that would just make the screw spin around in the hole so I need one kind of Angle one side so it stays there. Whereas the other one, I'm going to start to drill counterclockwise, and by doing so, out comes the screw. Now, this is a little bit fiddly, this one is out here, but I'm going to just tip it like that so it drops out. And you might have to uh, give the other side a few dashes just to make it pop out. Uh, so now we have a small, the small piece of the screw, and we have the other piece uh, inside still. So I'm going to use the smaller screwdriver and just push it out from the open side. So there it comes. Drag it out, and we have 
this link is now removed together with the screw. Right, so obviously now I can take this and fit it into the connection point here. It's perfect. Then I take the uh, the peg and I'll put that inside back in here. Right, see if I can make it fit. Might have to fiddle around a bit to just make all all pieces fit together, but there we go. So now you can see that this thicker part of the peg is uh, outside. So I use the uh, the end of the pin and I push it back in. And just to make it secure and nice, I use the pin to kind of drill it in a little bit extra. So now it's just there. And we only have one link uh, of the uh, prior two removable left. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Uh, and then I start again with the, uh, the peg. I push it out, drag it. Over there, and uh, there it comes. Then I use the two screwdrivers one as an anchor, and one that I will start to drill counterclockwise. Okay, see, there it comes. Then I use the screwdriver again to push the screw out. Whoop, there comes the link. What I need to do now is to attach the two links together. Grab my peg right here. Doesn't matter from which side you insert it. Does matter from which side you remove it though because obviously you need to push the, the smaller bit uh, when you remove it so the big the thicker thicker end comes out instead of just drilling more deeper inside there we go it's in and there I'll just secure it by pushing it in a bit extra and here we go. Now it's just one link, one removable link left on each side, and I removed two links. If I wanted to uh, fine tune the fine tune this fit, now I would use again the pin, and I would push it in here, and I can then remove this peg and, and kind of place it in one of these three holes where it fit the best. This pin comes with a spring as well, so you have to be a bit careful when you kind of pop it out so it doesn't just jump away. Um, but that's it. That's how you remove links for the uh, Glory Stays Bamboo Watch. Uh, if you're interested, go to enjoygloriousdays.com or visit us on Facebook. Thanks.